haven't had any rain in a couple weeks, so it's a dust bowl out here. I'm gonna put down some landscape fabric right here before we put in the gravel. Hey, it's Jason Creel and this is the Lion Care Light. Today I'm helping a friend out and we are uh, doing a project on his back patio. Now I'm not the main force of labor. We got some, some skilled labor here. They're doing, doing a lot of the work, but basically he's gonna uh, landscape this steep hillside with some plants and then he's extending his patio and doing kind of some crushed gravel to make a nice area and I think incorporating a fire pit. And I thought it'd be interesting to see what he's done with this with this bank at his house got a, a very skilled operator on the on the uh, skid steer back here and we'll get, keep you updated as the project goes along and show you how it turns out let's check it out so you notice here it's a, a very wooded bank and it's very steep and what he's done is come in with that skid steer and scrape it down and grade this off a little bit and that's pretty steep right there i i, I wish i could have saw I wish I could have been here when he when he got the skid steer on the side of that hill because that that is a, a fairly steep bank. But then we see here we've got the the patio back here, the cement. And they're going to come out here with some gravel and make that, and then got a lot of plants that are going to incorporate into the hillside. So you know these are all in in pots right now, but going to end up putting these on the hillside. So. I'm here is the uh, unskilled labor and we've got some some skilled labor operating the heavy equipment. So we'll check it out and keep you updated and see how this project turns out. Tell you what, I'm glad he's driving that and not me because I would supposedly this is what he does all day every day so he, he knows what he's doing. How much topsoil did you bring in? Or? Yeah, uh, dump truck full. Okay. I can say this, me being an inexperienced skid steer operator, watching somebody that actually knows what they're doing is, is pretty impressive. Because he, he makes some of this look easy especially getting up on that bank and, and grading that out and the way he's able to do this is you can tell he know he's a very skilled operator. The gravel's on his on its way. What basically what I what I've been told is you know, so this going where he's over here clearing off is gonna be gravel. On this bank is gonna be some big flag stone and then have these plants incorporated on the bank into the flagstone. And then also working a fire pit into the bank somehow or another too. I'm not exactly sure what the finished product's gonna look like. We started in with the flagstone. One issue we're having is the, the hill being steep and having to get the dirt to settle, you know, because there may be a little, a little washing, but we'll figure it out. Well, here's an update on the project so far. Got some of the flagstone in. Some of the problems we're coming into is that on the middle here, it's, it's so steep of a slope that we're afraid the rock is gonna slide. Now, I think as this dirt gets hardened, it, it's gonna hold things in place. We're gonna put plants in between there. It's gonna help hold everything in place. But there is some concern, and supposedly not much water comes off this hillside, so that's a good thing. But you know some of these big rocks are sliding a little bit so what we're doing is going and, and getting some short pieces of rebar that we're going to drive in the ground just below uh, the rock it'll be to hold the the large stones in place now lesson from this what we've been told is that this project started because 
somebody looking at pictures on Pinterest. So this is an important lesson. Don't look at Pinterest because you end up getting ideas of projects that are not as easy to accomplish as they look on Pinterest because in Pinterest the, the hillside was not as steep as this and when you're dealing with, with slopes it just makes everything an issue. So uh, if there was an unlimited budget here what one guy mentioned was a retaining wall would have been awesome but you know that's a lot more expensive so anyway continuing on with the flagstone going to get the rebar out i'm going to put the the crushed uh, gravel through here and, and looking at putting in some kind of stone border to separate the crushed gravel at the bottom from the flagstone on the hillside and then get those plants installed and maybe put some mulch up there to kind of finish it off i'm not sure about the fireplace I, I heard a rumor of a fireplace but i'm not seeing where that's going to go right off the bat more of a fire pit not a fireplace and so we're driving in the rebar here to hold some of these larger stones on the slope in place It's not as bad on the sides, it's not as steep, but on this particular part it's a lot steeper and we we're just concerned that some of the big stones might start sliding. Here's what we're doing, we got the, uh, got some other stone that we're using kind of as a border we'll bring the gravel in here and then it'll sort of lock this border in place but it's going to create a good separation between the flagstone and the uh you know the gravel that's going to be here and then you got to get these plants set up part sorry for the shadows it's, it's just the way the sun's hitting but the best thing we've done all day is we finally got some food to eat so there's some <laughs> bratwurst on the grill and that's going to be uh, the best accomplishment we've made so far. <laughs> we started putting some of the plants in, started leveling this out more and packing it down to, to get ready for the, putting the gravel in here. There's a, I think they're going to have to use a hand tamper to be able to pack the gravel down. You see there's an assortment of, of plants and juniper to rosemary lamb's ear I didn't know what all of them are called they had to tell me you got lavender All right, finishing setting the plants. Looking pretty good. Sorry about the shadows. I want to show you the completed backyard landscaping project that we've been working on. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to stay the end, so I had to come back on another day and show you the finished project. But uh, they came in and, and obviously finished planting all the plants, then put in the, the gravel after they got the weed fabric down, and then put in a, a little fire pit. 
Uh, so let's check out the finished results and uh, see what it looks like. So here we go. You can see, you can see how the pea gravel really looks nice. I, I like that and it'll obviously help with the fire pit. They could put something in there to help set that off as a fire pit a little bit more if they wanted to put some sort of rack to let the burn the logs burn on. And then you see all the plants. Now obviously these are going to continue to grow and mature hopefully with the rebar under some of these rocks holding them in place and with these plants as they mature it's going to help hold all the soil in place on this uh, hillside and they said they don't really get that much water coming off this hill during the heavy rain so hopefully all this will hold in place the plants will mature and fill up a lot of the, the, the gaps there they could come in and put some uh, gravel in there or mulch or something i don't know if the mulch would hold maybe straw or rocks might be better a little you know more pea gravel or something like that to help keep some of the weeds out in the, in the cracks but get one more panoramic view here overall i think it turned out pretty well hills are tricky you know and they'll be a a little bit of a job keeping all that stuff from coming down onto this hillside. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully it gave you some ideas what you can do on a hillside. And I was glad to be able to be a part. I learned some things working with some guys who do landscaping on a regular basis and watching them do their thing. And I was able to provide a helping hand. I'm Jason Creel. If you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Let me hear from you in the comments. What do you think about this project? What could we have done different in your opinion? And I hopefully you got some good ideas from it. We'll talk to you later. Bye.